I'm Sam Wilkin, and over the next 12 months, I'm going to be introducing you to the people and the place behind one of Britain's best loved cheeses, Baron Bygod. We'll see the seasons change in the Waveney Valley, and we'll get a deeper understanding of the passion and the craft that goes into making this incredible farmhouse cheese. This is Fen Farm Dairy. When I, when I left school, I just didn't want to do anything but farming. I actually become a bit of a rebel um, at, at high school. In my late 20s, that, I think the rebel sort of stayed with me and, and I just didn't want to be in this kind of, this box as dairy farmers sell their milk to milk processors. And that's kind of what really started this all off. As a farmer, I love growing things and I love growing animals. I love seeing crops grow. To this day, I just get huge satisfaction out of cows. Um, <laughs> I just find them very fascinating with their big noses and tongues. I can't really switch off when I'm at, at, at my house. It's virtually impossible. Most of my first few hours, I just can't take that away from myself of just getting up and feeding cows. How much um, silage is left round there? Well, I get that chance to just feel what's going on around the farm. It gives me then that time to start thinking about the day. It's something quite therapeutic. You're doing the, the actual physical job of like littering a cow yard. But on top of that, the phone is with me. The farmers half run on WhatsApp, it seems. I like to sort of be there and understand, is that what we planned? Is that what we agreed? I just see stuff all the time. It, it, you know, and I just, I, I can't help it. I just see little things. This is not right, that needs doing, that could be better. And it's, con you know, it's sort of constant. You've got the obvious things what repeat themselves, like making cheese and dispatching products and but then you've got the random email what turns off or the the phone call of something has broken or something's escaped Bloody hell. We got, it's sort of like a little bit premature it isn't a full-grown calf but I need to understand who had it first of all um, now is an opportunity to teach someone much younger than me the skills of doing the same thing as what I'm now doing. Always going to lose an odd calf for the calving season. It gets you every time. Are you coming back tomorrow? Good. It's an achievement in just doing the the day-to-day -day stuff, like satisfying seeing the milk going in the tank, seeing tasting a really good cheese. I'll be back in a sec. There's a real enjoyment and satisfaction out of doing a job and getting to the end and finishing it and you've completed it and you, you go home and you think, yeah, I feel like today's been worth it. I got up, the day has been well spent.
the penny drop when we started selling raw milk. Actually, people are coming here and they're, they're enjoying the, the food, what we created, all that hard work, and people say, hey, that's great. You know, like, I never got that. You do all of that work on the farm all year round, and all it concentrates into a small tank of milk, which is sucked off and taken away. All of a sudden, when we brought cheese into it, you know, you're adding value to the, 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 the milk what you've created. All of a sudden, there was a point where I realised I'm not a cheesemaker, I'm running a business. Getting into a, reading books about, you know, growing businesses and, you know, all of that. It's been really good fun in actually reading this stuff and then implementing it into your own kind of way and then seeing it actually work. In the coming years, one of the things I really want to do more of is trying to grow everything and produce everything on the farm. The less I can bring food and materials to the farm from long distances, the better. I think it would be better for the world, but also like I think it's great for the food itself, putting something back into that land so it just keeps going round in a circle. I think the UK could do with a lot more good cheese. Um, you know, I think there's a demand for it and there's not enough people doing it. Good cheese comes from good milk and you've got to have the good, good animal to produce that milk. That's where farmers have got the real opportunity to make cheese on their farms and um, you just don't see much of that at all in the UK. The things what, you know, we've learned here it would be a lot easier for the, for the person down the road who wanted to do something similar to us to come and learn from us or to pick up some of the systems and things that we've created on the farm, you know, rather than learning as you go. So, you know, I think they're, they're sort of ambitions and ideas what we've got for the future.